Under the SpiderFab project, we are developing a radically different way of deploying large space systems. The challenge that is motivating this effort is the fact that right now, to deploy a large space system, we spend billions of dollars and many years finally crafting a technical work of art, and then we load it on a rocket and subject it to 10 minutes of assault and battery, and then we hope that it actually deploys and works on orbit. Now the big primes and NASA have figured out how to do this and have it work most of the time but it's extremely expensive and it takes a long time. We're working on spider fab architecture to, which, to, which combines robotic assembly and additive manufacturing techniques to be able to create large space systems on orbit. And if we can do that, we can enable order of magnitude improvements in performance for cost, packing efficiency, and, and launch saving, which will translate into higher resolution, higher power, higher sensitivity, and higher bandwidth for, for a wide range of different missions. So how are we actually going to do this? This is one concept that we put together for a mobile robot that has a number of robotic arms and can crawl around and build up a structure in space. Uh, and when we looked at the requirements, this system ended up having the morphology of a spider. You know, so it's got multiple robotic arms. It needs tools, which I'm calling spinnerets because it's a spider for, for fabricating structural elements and additional tools for bonding them together to build up a big structure. We have been working on uh, kind of the first key component of this spider fab architecture, and that is a tool that we call the trussellator because it fabricates trusses. Uh, so, so this is the initial phase one prototype. Um, it basically takes as, as food spools of carbon fiber material and uses an additive, additive manufacturing process to fabricate an extremely high performance carbon fiber truss. So with, with a very small volume of material, we can make ridiculously large structures. You know, our, our horizon objective of all, with all this is to construct the infrastructure and space necessary to support humanity's expansion throughout the solar system.